Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flights in 2020. I recently noticed that in the landing challenge category it had me down for a 0% mastered even though I've done some of these landing challenges. Either it didn't notice that or it reset that. But I've decided that I'm going to do each of these categories in turn. Each will get its own video. And I'm going to do each challenge once. And so we're going to start off with probably the easiest one, the famous one. Uh, there's the epic, which is short airstrips and treacherous terrain, and then the strong wind one, which is probably the hardest. And so starting off with the easiest first, we have 12 challenges here. I'll just go through and I'm going to do them once. And then maybe later on if I decide that I haven't done things well enough, I mean, there's always room for improvement. Uh, I'll go through them again, but I just want to go through everything once to see what it all looks like. And some of these I really have not tried before. So we will find out how it all works. So here we go. We're just going to blitz through these. Okay, so it's saying 110 knots in runway 29. We're expecting a wide right turn. Okay, let me reset the master caution there. Okay, well, maybe it'll help if I can see the instruments. This is off to a great start. Oh, wow, we're pretty close. Let me actually peek outside and see our configuration. We've got everything set. All right. I wonder why they have it like this. This is not going to turn out well. <laughs> this is awful close to be landing a jet like this. I mean, we're obviously high. Not a lot of time to line up like this. There's no obstacles around here. Uh, yeah, I don't like that turn. <laughs> uh, great. Yeah, we're not going to get a good score on this one. I was not expecting such a quick thing. Uh, let's not talk about that one. Okay, well, that did not go so well. I, I guess we're just warming up here. Hopefully I can get my act together. But I really didn't expect it to be uh, that tight a thing. And also I forgot that the CJ4 does not really slow down very well. I tried to put air brakes out. That did not work. But maybe... Does it not have air brakes? I thought it would have air brakes, but... Anyway, we were not slowing down there. So, yes, I'll try to just throw down more aggressively sooner. And we are now taking a 747 into Stockholm. And let's see how this goes. I am taking a tally of all the scores, and I'll get an average. And at some point, I will try all these again in sequence one more time. Okay, well, uh, one of those runways is the one. <laughs> uh, which one is the one I was supposed to... I didn't see which one I was supposed to land at. I'll try the closer one. Uh, this is not the right one. Well, it's all highly irregular right now, but we're gonna go with it. It didn't say I couldn't abort the landing. Oh, wow, that touchdown marker is really close. And we're really high. Uh, 
Ah. Uh, okay, we actually touched down there. Okay. Okay, well, that's better, even though I initially went for the wrong runway. Uh, 737. Hey, it's 737. Uh, 812. All right, fine. I'll take it for now. A B. All right. Yeah, not the smoothest thing. All right, back to landing challenges. Hachi Joshima. All right, A320. Runway 8 this time. I'll remember which runway. 150 knots, really. Uh, faster than the 747. Okay, well, there it is. Yeah, as usual, we're really close. Uh, we're slower, much lower this time than the previous two times. We're all configured fine. Moon's there. I feel some serious flyby. Oh, the, the autopilot's actually on. <laughs> Um, shouldn't we not have that? Oh, why don't we just turn it down a bit? I guess how that's Airbuses do it. I think they gave me more room this time. Well, certainly easier to line up. Is the opposite gonna know what to do when I want to start braking or something? I'm just curious about that. We'll see. Whoa, 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 ah, whoa, uh, is the opal doing something weird? Uh oh. Oh no. Ah, that's not good. That's gotta be bad. I don't. I don't know about this whole autopilot involved situation. Maybe I should just turn them off. Well, okay, not good, obviously. Yeah, I mean, mainly because we went all the way down. Though that landing smoothness isn't great. Okay, next. Oh. Well, at least I've uh, flown a business jet recently. <laughs> so this time I will try and vindicate myself with the CJ4. Whoa, uh, it's still sort of... Literally, well, I learned my lesson from last time. I'm going to try and be more aggressive. Um, does it have air brakes at all? Apparently not. Okay. Well, I'm throttling down as much as possible. Uh, okay, actually it's pretty... Well, no, it still needs to be slower. Okay. This is a nicer approach than the first one, anyway. Ooh, that one was a uh, 90 degree right turn. Without a good eye on the runway. Does Jackson Hole not have Pappy Lights? Uh, uh, off to one side, sort of. Don't know how I managed that. Okay. 662,715. Still a B. Alright. Well, an improvement over the first one. Yes. Gotta get to that million points, though. Get an A on these things. But I haven't done these before, so... First one for all of those. Well, it's a Cessna 172. What could go wrong? Straight in, too. That's a little bit higher up. Let me just verify my configuration. Seems fine. Okay. And we've got these fancy screens and everything, too, this time. Which, apparently, we do not want to touch. Hmm. 
Okay, uh, I think I see where the blue zone is. Oh gosh. Uh, okay. That wasn't great, but let's see. Well, there we go. There we go. 1.492 million. Okay. So it's just like jet engines <laughs> from uh I'm rusty on the jets. Okay. Uh all right, all right, all right. Feeling a little bit better about myself. I've got some some self-esteem back. Could be better, could still be better. Okay, we got our second try with the 747 it looks like. Straight in. Well, that makes it easier. Runway 31 left. All right, JFK. Straight in. Really fast, though, but okay. Wow, it's, it's hard to fly this af right after flying the Cessna. That is an interesting transition. I gotta check whether my air brakes are mapped the way I expect them to be. Uh, landing gear is really low compared to on the Cessna though, so it's tough to gauge it. Uh, oh! Did it not have the landing gear out? Okay, hold on a sec. I think it didn't have the landing gear out? I'm gonna restart that one. That's suspicious. So far they've had the landing gear out, so maybe I... did I... Uh, it didn't have the landing gear out. See now! That's cheating. <laughs> I mean, uh, if on the other landing challenges, now it's got the instruments. Um, if on the other landing challenges you had the gear out every time, and this time you don't have, well, I should have checked though. Still, I think they were trying to fool me. Do we have air brakes? Okay, well, the air brake, air brakes are apparently not on the control that I thought they were, so. Uh, that or just doesn't have air brakes. I, I'm pretty sure it does, so yeah. Currently, I do not know what key the air brakes are on. I guess an update changed some of the mappings because definitely had it mapped before. So, sorry for this retry. I should have just given myself a zero score on that. Yeah. Well, let's see what that gets us. 1.4 million there too. Okay, but messed up the first time. Next. Nice. And our first time in the Beechcraft Bonanza. Well, let me just check outside for a sec here. What's our... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Alright. I see what they're doing. We started out really low this time compared to the other times as well. Ah, uh, we're landing a little bit early. Shoot. That wasn't very good. Yeah, back down to sea on that. Next. Okay, Kito, Kito, with the King Air. Beechcraft King Air. Runway 18, 105 knots it says there on approach. Okay, wow, this time we're high. 
Yeah. This time we have the gear down already. All right. And didn't handle that turn very well. Okay. Down. Weirdly, this had more of a brick-like feeling than some of the others. 572,000 only. Why does it show a TBM? So confusing. Okay, I didn't notice whether the plane that they showed matched the actual challenge or not in the previous ones. Okay, well, maybe they're confused, I don't know. Yeah, we landed a bit further than I wanted. I do not fly the King Air very much though. Okay, and next the Airbus. Second try with the Airbus. First try was not so good. That was the Hachi Joshima 193,000. Rio. This time I'm just going to turn off the bloody autopilot. If I can. I mean, my experiences with the Airbus have been... If I'm not that familiar with the Airbuses. Okay, so, black director, off, auto throttle, off. Landing gear, lever seems down, let me just check. Okay, alright. This plane has such a different feel to the others, too. Well, pretty much too low. Uh, okay, we got one light there. That's good. Let's just go with a low approach here. Uh, that didn't feel too good. I mean, better than the last time with this plane, but still. Eh, still not a B. Okay. Better than the last time. Oh, Doc Robbie did this plane. Okay. So, I have one friend. I have one friend in the entire world here. And, uh, I beat him. <laughs> oh, I need to get more uh, flight sim friends, apparently. Three more? Back to the Cessna 172 and then we have the A320 and then the TBM. So far they hadn't given me the TBM until the last one at Toronto. But anyway, first Suwano, Suwano Sejima and uh, Cessna 172. Runway 32. Oh, we have to go all the way around. We have to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, that's special. Whoa, why am I pitched up so much? <laughs> okay, we need to slow down. Don't need to check the gear on this plane, at least. Got all these fancy instruments. Some of the airliners don't have all this stuff. Okay, so turning. Uh-oh, where the heck is it, anyway? Uh... Well, shoot. Be good if it was visible, huh? Um... Okay, I think it's in the midst of those trees. Gosh, alright. Yep. <laughs> this is a this is a more challenging one than some of the others. Just saying. Ah, uh, wow. There's some there's some wind here too. Or at least it feels like that. Oh shoot.
Well, still a million. Uh, I think maybe my tree mod might have made it harder than that. I've got the Bijan Habashi tree mod and I felt there was some serious treeing going on there. But okay, we've got a decent score. It could have been worse. And they've shown a caravan here instead. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. 56% mastered. I wonder how it gives the percentage, really. I guess maybe it's like one point for a C, two points for a B, one, uh, three points for an A or something? Something like that. Okay, here's the A320 again. To Sydney. Runway 16, right. Can I get my first A in the Airbus? Maybe at least a B? Okay, let's just stop with Flight Director. Um, I seem to be completely lined up. Gear lever is down. Let's just check the reality. Reality is fine. Okay. Uh, the problem is I can't see the blue zone at the end there. Oh, good. An A. My first A in the Airbus. All right. Progress. But of course, that was an easier setup than the previous time. So they just started me off on this one and then built up. But anyway. All right. The last one of this sequence. And that is the TBM at Toronto. Arrival runway 26. Uh, okay, where am I looking at it? Uh, where are you, runway 26? Actually, I, I keep landing at Pearson at Toronto. I don't remember if I've landed at this airport. Oh, it's that one. Oh, shoot. I'm lined up wrong. I, on the GPS, there's only one visible. But there's two there. Okay, abort, abort, abort. I'm gonna go around. <laughs> it's not what you're supposed to do, but as long as they don't dock points for it, I'm gonna take advantage. They gave me all that time to line up, too. Well, it didn't go too badly. All right, 748,104. Rough landing. But let's see, what was the speed per minute? Oh, well, yeah, still a bit rough, but all right. Well, there we have it. So let me tally it all up and tell you what we ended up at for the 12 challenges. And you can see whether you can beat me on the sum of them or the average of them anyway, either way. Okay, assuming I've summed it all right on the calculator, the total score was 9,137,505, which is an average of 761,458. Now, obviously, if I could have repeated any, I only did each one once. If I could repeat it any, I definitely would repeat the first one, which I only got 13,000 on. That was, that was uh, lower than normal score, and the third one... So anyway, but these are uh, the scores for one try only, and we will see whether I retry them some other time, but I do have all the other challenges to do, so I'll go on to those first, the epics and the strong winds. That should be much harder. I don't expect uh, as good a score, but we'll see. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.